In this problem, we are given that sine of theta is 5 over 7 and cosine of theta is 2 square root of 6 over 7 and theta is an acute angle. We will find the rest of the trigonometric functions using the quotient and reciprocal identities. So here to the left we have the reciprocal identities and the quotient identities. The first two reciprocal identities tell us that sine of theta is 1 over cosecant of theta and cosecant of theta is 1 over sine of theta. So the sine and the cosecant functions are reciprocals of each other. This means that if we have the value of sine and we need the value of cosecant, then we just have to flip this fraction. Then we can write that cosecant of theta equals 7 over 5. The next two reciprocal identities are cosine of theta equals 1 over secant of theta and secant of theta equals 1 over cosine of theta. These two functions are also reciprocals of each other. So if we know the value of cosine, then we can flip this fraction and get the value of secant. Then we will have that secant of theta equals 7 over 2 square root of 6. Now we need to rationalize the denominator and for this we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 6. Then in the numerator we will have 7 square root of 6 and in the denominator square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. So then the new denominator will be 12. So far we have the values of sine, cosecant, cosine and secant and we still have to find the values of tangent and cotangent. To find the value of tangent we will use the quotient identity tangent of theta equals sine of theta over cosine of theta. So let's write tangent of theta and we will start a fraction. And because the numerator is sine of theta, we will replace sine of theta with 5 over 7. So let's write 5 over 7 in the numerator and in the denominator we need cosine and cosine is 2 square root of 6 over 7. Now dividing these two fractions means multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second one. Then we can write all this as 5 over 7 multiplied by 7 over 2 square root of 6. Then here we will cancel 7 and we will have 5 over 2 square root of 6. Now to rationalize the denominator we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 6. Then in the numerator we will have 5 square root of 6 and in the denominator we will have 12. And now the last trigonometric function we will find will be the cotangent. To find the cotangent function we can either use these two reciprocal identities or this quotient identity. If we use the reciprocal identities we see that tangent and cotangent are reciprocals of each other. So we can find the value of cotangent by flipping the fraction that represents tangent. So let's start with cotangent of theta. And now the fraction I will use to flip will be this one instead of this one. And that is because if I use this one and I flip it, I will have square root of 6 in the denominator and I will have to rationalize the denominator. But if I use this one, then I will have 2 square root of 6 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator. And this will be the value of cotangent. So in this problem we were given the values of sine and cosine and we found the values of the rest of the trigonometric functions using the reciprocal and the quotient identities. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.